Hey everybody, I this is Mandy now. I'm the uh, Health Professions Week Executive Director. Welcome to your Monday morning career webinar. Um, super excited to have Asha back with us. So you may remember if you've or if you've been kind of hanging out with us all month, we've heard from Asha already um, this month, and they are the American Speech Language Hearing Association, and we talked about careers in audiology earlier this month but today we're going to focus on another health profession that asha represents and that's the speech language pathologist so slightly different career i'm really super excited we have melanie johnson here with us so i'm going to roll our quick video this morning just like we do every morning with our career videos um, i'm going to let you guys watch this minute and a half video and then melanie and i are going to jump in we're going to do a q a um, if you are joining us live which i know some of you are um, if you have questions go ahead and at any point dump them into the chat into the question and answer box as questions come in i will work that into the conversation with melanie this morning if you are watching this in the on-demand version a little bit later today or sometime during the month you can absolutely still email those questions in and we will get those questions over to the the group at asha and they will absolutely answer them for you so do not despair all right, let's get started today. Something that I wish my high school self would know about a career in communicative sciences and disorders is that it exists. So yes, I'm talking to all of you, uh, creatives, language lovers, psychology lovers, introverts, there is a career that could potentially be perfect for you. So if you're interested in a career where you get to help people from all walks of life and ages achieve their goals to better express themselves, connect with others, and swallow, please come join the field. From high school, it might seem like a long journey to become a clinician. As long as you just keep growing from your experiences where you get to work with people and help people, you're going to become a, a great clinician. Your experiences are unique. Your worldview as a person of color is unique. And our clients need to be able to see themselves within us. They need that representation. No one's journey to becoming a clinician is the same. And everyone is different. So um, everyone brings something different to the table. So please come join the field. The field needs more clinicians of color. All right, everybody. And uh, as you can see, that comes direct from the ASHA website. Um, I'm going to come back up on camera here. So those aren't on our normal YouTube channel, but again, there's some great videos in that playlist on the Health Professions Week YouTube channel. So go check those out. You can also grab this website, um, which is stream.asha.org, if you didn't happen to grab it while I had the video up. Um, oh, there's some great, great um, links there and some great stories from their new programming called Representation Matters. Um, so at this point, I'm going to ask Melanie to join us us and have her come back on camera if she's able to there she is good morning Hi. how good are morning. you good thank you how are you doing well thank you thank you for coming and spending a little bit of time with health professions week today um i'm super excited to have you guys back like i said in the intro you know we we've already explored one of the careers here but now we're talking about speech language pathology or the career speech language pathologist um so to, in bernice's video she talked a little bit you know that junior high school senior um you know um sitting in in high school thinking about what the education pathway looks like talk to us about how to become an slp what does that look like Sure, oh, thank you for having us here today. Well, of course, um, students would get a bachelor's degree in communication sciences and disorders. And if they don't have a degree in that discipline, they can certainly come to us from other disciplines and those students would 
have to take a um, prerequisite to meet the um, to meet the um, entrance requirements. The entrance requirements. Thank you to get into graduate school. So a master's degree is required as the entry level degree as a speech language pathologist. And that's a two year, two to three year degree program. And uh, once you graduate with your degree, you would do a clinical fellowship to get additional experience. And then you would um, apply to ASHA to become a member of the association and Excellent. get your certification. Excellent. So this is something that is definitely a doable, achievable. You can see yourself being actually working in um, in, in six years then for, for somebody who's going to go straight through that process and have prerequisites at the time of application. Um, tell me, where would you find a speech language pathologist working? What types of environments do they work in? Most of our members work in the schools, about 51% of them work in schools with students helping them with their articulation and whatever issues, other issues they may have. Um, about the other half work in healthcare, um, private practice, academia, corporate America, government. So there's a wide range. That's the beauty of these professions. You can work in many settings. You can work across the lifespan with people from newborn to elderly. You can work all over the world. You can work rural, urban. So there are many, many possibilities in audiology and speech language pathology. Oh, that's exciting. That sounds like a really wide range of patient care. Um, and are there ways to specialize then? Does somebody, or is somebody able to say, I'm only going to work with, you know, children or I'm only going to work in adult populations? Absolutely. You can specialize in area of interest like fluency, which is stuttering. Um, you can work with your um, specific age population. Yes, you can specialize, absolutely. That's cool, very neat. Now, this video and the videos that we actually watched earlier this much come from a new program that ASHA has rolled out called Representation Matters. Talk to us a little bit about your mission here and getting um, um, uh, therapists and audiologists of color to tell their stories. Absolutely. Our goal is to recruit three main populations. That includes males, students that are from underrepresented backgrounds. Those are students who are African American or Black, Hispanic, Asian, Indian, Asian Pacific Islander, or Native American. And our other um, target um, population is by persons who are bilingual. And so this Yes, this um, website is an opportunity for us to educate persons about the careers of audiology and speech language pathology, as well as, as you mentioned, to share stories from clinicians and students on why they chose these professions, why these professions are so rewarding, and why others should join um, and, and explore the opportunity to, to become a CSD professional. I love it. Because again, not a lot of, you know, I, you guys have heard me say this before. I wish more eight-year-olds ran around saying that I wanted to be a speech language pathologist when I grow up. So, you know, Mandy's on a mission. Um, but I do, I love it. I, I, if you don't know what SLPs are, and if you need to learn more or you are your interest is now peaked, Melanie, how can somebody learn more? What's the next step for somebody who wants to see this or learn more about it? Well, please visit hearingandspeechcareers.org. Also come to ASHA's website, asha.org, and um, go to our student section to learn more about the professions. There's a vast variety of information included regarding what a speech language pathologist does, where they work, what their salary is. Um, you can also gain information about what university programs offer 
CSD um, program. So there's a lot of um, information you can gain by coming to the asher.org or hearing into each careers.org. Perfect. I also am going to take a minute to remind everybody that uh, speech language pathologist is a stop on our scavenger hunt. We are exploring the blue line careers this week. So make sure you grab that from our website and click on over to speech language pathology so that you can learn a little bit more about this fantastic career choice. Bonnie, thank you so much for coming with us. I love these short interviews. I think that they are fantastic for students because it gives them just a little bit of knowledge and then gives them the tools that they need so they can go out and explore a little bit more. So for those of you who are, again, joined us live, thank you. Don't see, I'm not seeing any uh, chat questions, but again, you can always reach out to us on email. If you're receiving yeah. emails from me about these events, hit reply, I get those, and I will absolutely make sure that Melanie gets your question if you're watching us on demand. Melanie, have a great day, have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. You do the same. Bye-bye.